Percent yield tells you how close your yield is to how much you should have gotten. The actual yield is how much you actually produce in lab. So it's the mass of product you actually produced. You have to be given this unless you're doing a lab. And if you're doing a lab, then whatever your way is your final product would be your actual yield. Theoretical yield is what we've been doing. Theoretically, if I start with a certain amount, I should end with a certain amount. So it's the mass of the product you should have gotten according to your calculation. When I go to make a box of cookies, it says I should make 24. If I make 20 or 36, then that's going to be my actual yield. But theoretically, according to the box, I should have only made 24. And because it's a percent, I'm going to multiply by 100. So the simplest type of percent yield problem you would see is one like this one. It says that you performed an experiment. You produced 90 grams of sodium chloride, which means the 90 grams of sodium chloride is my actual yield. You calculated that you would produce 110 grams. So that must be my theoretical. And then I just need to multiply by 100. You can have a percent yield less than or greater than 100. In this case, it's 81.82%. Remember, when doing your percents, if it's a write-out problem like this, go ahead and put your answer with two decimal places. In this problem, it's first asking you what's the theoretical yield of calcium oxide if we start with 24.8 grams of calcium carbonate. So doing exactly what you've been doing, convert 24.8 grams calcium carbonate to calcium oxide. Restart the video when you're done. So we have our 24.8 grams calcium carbonate. We need to convert that to moles. One mole is 100.09 grams. And then we need our mole to mole ratio. In this case, one mole is equal to one mole calcium oxide. You do need that step even though it's a one to one ratio. And now I need to convert my moles to grams. This problem wasn't specific on converting it to grams, but if we look at the next problem, it tells me that my actual was in grams, so I'm going to need to convert this one to grams anyway. On a test or quiz, we'll be specific on if we want it grams, liters, or molecules. So multiplying and dividing, you should get 13.9 grams of calcium oxide. The follow-up question says, well, what would be your percent yield if we produced 13.1 grams? Go ahead and pause the video and restart when you have your answer. You should have put 13.1 over 13.9, which was our answer from the previous problem. And don't forget to multiply by 100 giving you 94.24%. Here we have 32 grams of methane burned and then 30 grams of water are actually produced. If my actual is in grams of water, then my theoretical needs to be in grams of water. So I'm going to have to take this 32 grams and convert to grams of water. So we're starting with grams of methane, we're converting to grams of water. So go ahead and pause the video and get your theoretical yield of water. Restart when you have your answer. So we started with 32 grams of methane, and so we needed to convert that to moles. Once we have moles, we can do our mole to mole ratio.
And now that we have moles, we can convert those moles to grams. Solving for our theoretical, we get 71.88 grams. Go ahead and pause and figure out your percent yield. You should have taken 30 grams and put that over our answer. Multiply by 100 and our final answer should be 41.74%. Go ahead and pause the video and get your final answer on this one. Restart when you have an answer. You should have gotten B. If you did not get B, 91.6, then continue watching to see where you made a mistake. If you got B or 91.6, then you are done with the video. So first you needed your theoretical yield. They told you that iron was produced and so we had to convert our grams of iron 3 oxide to grams of iron. So first we did our mole grams to moles, then our mole to mole ratio, and then finally moles back to grams. Our theoretical yield was 59.31. And then we put our actual over our theoretical and times 100 to give us 91.55%.